And we are back guys to the channel with some new Dragon Ball Sparking Zero information. Kudos to Hype for providing us the new V-Jump scans guys. And the theme of this scan is called Master vs Apprentice. We have Virus, we have Whis, we have Gohan, Videl, Trunks. Guys, this is gonna go Hype. So let's look at the pictures because they are super awesome. The first one is, I think actually this this is the first one, yeah, so this is the first one, Sparky Zero character file number three. So we have here a lovely, very nice showcase of the characters you're going to be coming to the game. And as always, the graphics are just absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't have the full translations, but I mean, the, the you know, it speaks for itself effectively. So we have Whis here with his super powerful attacks. They are very destructive, as you can imagine. Leading downwards towards here, we have Gohan. Uh, so we have here Gohan and Videl. Really, really cool. As you can see here, Gohan and Videl. This is obviously base adult Gohan. And Videl, she is really powerful as well. No, she most likely will have flight enabled, but she will be much slower than the other people because, you know, she's, you know, a basic character in terms of her fighting abilities. So, same as the other Budokai games, some of the fighters are gonna be lower tier, which I quite like because then you can, you know, set up challenges for yourself and go into fights with uh, handicaps to fight with a weaker character, which is really cool, right? Next one, of course, it's all about skill. If you're really good with a character, you can definitely win even with a single, ca uh, simplest character. But then at the bottom here, we have something super awesome and we have future one-handed Gohan. As you can see here, this is future one-hand Gohan, clearly here fighting Android 17. And look at the grab attack and his super attack. I mean, that is just freaking awesome, guys. And future Trunks, that's right, so this is future Trunks here with this super super cool uh, outfit, I mean this is so awesome, this black tank top, and of course he's, you know, classic, I think it was called heat wave attack or something, I don't remember now to be honest, but yeah, he's super attack, and of course the, uh, the, the, the sword is just awesome, I mean that's just awesome, super cool. And yeah, same, same thing, the scenarios are really nice because you can see that this is the destroyed city of the future. So you see lots of like ruins and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, this is the classic, let's go back here, the classic landscape you see in the trailer, so this hasn't changed. But this one is a brand new scenario, which is a destroyed apocalyptic city, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, so this is the first one guys, really cool, Master vs Apprentice, which it means that we're definitely going to get another trailer because these are these are screenshots from a trailer, effectively, right? Uh, the next one is the second page, Spark and Zero, as you can see here, really cool as well. We have Beerus, the Lord of Destruction, really awesome, as you can see guys, with his special attacks. And Master Roshi, because Master Roshi was the master of Goku and Krillin, and of course later on Yamcha, Tien Shin Han, right? So, really cool. Piccolo, he was the master for Gohan, as you can see here, so again, you have different abilities. Uh, I just love the graphics, man, I mean, every single video I repeat this, but I just have to say it. The graphics in this game look just so <laughs> awesome, I mean, Im impeccable, they're just impeccable from my point of view. So, Yamcha here is one of the apprentices in Krillin as well from, of course, Master Roshi. And uh, we have here Goku, who is also an apprentice of Master Roshi, so the classic Kamehameha, which is really cool. So yeah, I'm really nice to be honest that this is actually uh, being showcased here. I really like also that the energy attacks, they're really clean, so many people were complaining that, well, the energy attacks not big enough, whatever, I mean, if they're too big, they're gonna be covering the screen and then you cannot react to the enemy counter-attack you cannot fight back because you, you have those like two seconds where you don't see anything and then anything can happen right which is really bad so when you launch an energy wave attack you should still have clear sight of your enemy to basically counter-attack fly backwards fly forward 
follow up so you should really have a clear sight of what your enemy is doing when you attack with an energy blast because otherwise you cannot follow up properly you always have to do it based on luck or chance so in the previous Budokai Tenkaichi games I remember Budokai Tenkaichi um, whichever doesn't matter like the flashing of the image of the Kamehameha's or final flash which just covered the entire screen with a simple attack it wasn't even the ultimate attack just a normal attack and to be honest it was pretty bad I mean it was just annoying the hell to me because I couldn't really focus on the fight so in this one I've seen it multiple times and the special attacks they do the initial effect as you can see here this part here but then it gives you a clear image of the trajectory and what is gonna hit so it can let you basically react to the enemy's movements which is very much appreciated guys uh, but yeah, these are the scans for the Spark in Zero. Now, when is the trailer gonna come? Maybe, maybe just in a couple of weeks. I mean, when we got the scans for the other one, the trailer dropped after, I believe, less than a month. So we could be looking at, potentially, at a new trailer in the month of May, which would be actually awesome. And then in the Summer Game Fest in June, we could be getting, finally, an announcement of the uh, of the release date which could be could be towards the end of the year maybe October November 2024 which is a possibility to be honest I mean that would be the perfect month they have to still polish the game I'm pretty sure they want to make a good netcode and they want to make sure that the game releases you know in a good condition because they're not rushing this one because they know that everyone everyone has high expectations the hype is real everyone wants a good quality game and if they're not going to deliver people are going to be pissed off so because of that i do hope that they are going to keep their promise and give us a quality product but guys hopefully things are going to go quite well because honestly it's looking pretty damn awesome i mean this is looking legit super hype and i cannot wait guys this is going to be incredible so yeah that's it for today's video, really hyped about especially Future Trunks, Future Gohan, I think is really cool. And I'm hoping that at some point they're going to give us a bit of a you know, story trailer, like how is the story going to be like? Are we going to be able to play out the full stories? Is it just going to be fights? Is it going to be like an arena where you just have to fight people and that's it? Or are we going to get proper exploration in the story mode with RPG elements? I'm really keen to know what's going to be the actual like meat of the single player experience because of course I like PvP, I'm going to play PvP a lot with you guys and everything, but I really want to see what is going to be the actual um, single player experience for this game which of course i'm pretty sure most of you guys also want to know that exact same question and we may get we may get a gameplay trailer at some point in the summer game fest if that happens i do hope that they're going to focus on the story how is the story going to look like how long is it going to be or you know what's going to cover how it's going to play out all these very important questions but guys that's it for today's video as always see you later in the next one